On the outskirts of Death Valley, at the foot of the Eastern Sierra, lies the ghost town of Cerro Gordo. Doodle on a Motorcycle told me she wanted to visit this town in March. And this is a story of why I won't be following Doodle into the mountains ever again. Good morning, beautiful people. Gonna go on Doodle's first, like, proper ADV adventure without an instructor. Help! <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how this goes. We'll be fine. While we were at the hotel room, I downloaded my maps offline with Onyx Off-Road and checked the elevation. I warned Doodle that the town of Cerro Gordo was going to be quite high at elevation and it was going to be very cold there. She told me that Brent had texted her and warned us that there would be snow in town, but the road up would be clear. So we set off down the road. Doodle and I's riding pace off-road is a little different, so once we got started up the dirt road to Cerro Gordo, I told Doodle I would ride ahead and wait for her. As the switchbacks got steeper and I slowed down, I would sit down to check my mirrors to see if Doodle had caught up with me. Well, the short story is that I checked my mirror in a corner and essentially steered myself into a snowbank and got stuck between the snowbank and my bike. Doodle arrived as I was working on how to get myself out. She helped me squeeze out from under the bike and I unloaded it so it would be easier to get it up on the incline. not an adventure with me until I dump my bike. No, you did not tell me that disclaimer. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I got my bike up to a flat spot and then... Oh! oh. Looks like somebody else went down today. <laughs> I just wanted a comfortable place to sit. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. You got it? I don't know if I keep slipping. And just in case you were wondering, this is not why I won't be following Doodle into the mountains anymore. Just wait. I mean, it was definitely optimistic uh, thinking to think that we we're going to come up to the Eastern Sierra and it not be snowy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, Doodle, I think that I remember the guy from Saragoda saying something about that there was going to be snow. 
Yeah. Yeah. And and I do I do remember saying that it was at elevation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. This this is my I told you so. <laughs> We well, tried. I, you know what I picture when you when I hear it's elevation. There's snow. There's gonna be snow capped on the things and a nice easy paved road to get there. That's <laughs> that's literally what I pictured. Not, uh, you thought that it was a paved road? Did you really? At least. <laughs> I mean, you know all these abandoned buildings we've seen on the way here. I figured it would just be on, right on the side of the road. I didn't know it'd be a six mile ride through hell. <laughs> Oh, come on. We had lots of fun. We did. <laughs> well, we're here now. We pretty much made it. We we have a little bit of a hike to do, but yeah. We yeah. pretty much made it. The sign is right there. I'm going to call. I'm going to say that we made it. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to walk cuz there's no way I'm turn I can turn this bike around by myself. <laughs> and I don't know that I can help you turn yours around either. I mean, I'll go. E- 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 e. <laughs> and we still gotta go back down. We do. We're gonna have to go back down. Oh Lord, this is called an adventure. Not my kind of adventure. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, so welcome to Cerro Gordo. This is an abandoned mining town. Established in the 1800s, 1865, they came up here. And the first thing that they were, that they were mining was galena, which is silver and lead. And they mined galena up here from about 1865 to about 1880. And they lost the vein. Everybody kind of packed it up and left. And that was kind of the first time it was abandoned. And a guy came up in 1910, and he realized that while everybody was paying attention to the lead and silver, no was paying attention to zinc. So he started mining zinc for about another 20 years. And the first kind of big owner of the town was a guy named Mortimer Belshaw. And that was his house there, this one behind him. And that's where I stay these days, in the Belshaw house. So that was about 1865. And then the guy that found zinc was named Gordon, and he lived over in that house. Mm-hmm. And so in 1910, he built that house. This is the original general store for the town. So a guy named Victor Boji put this up. Um, these days, it's our, it's our museum. So anytime I'm, I'm down in the mines or I'm doing anything like that, it throws it in here. And so they mined zinc to about 1940, and at that point, that dried up as well. Um, also, the war kind of shut down a lot of non-essential mines, and so that was kind of the final blow to the town. From that point forward, the mining company that had at the time, they were paying a caretaker to be here just to look after the place. They went bankrupt, they couldn't pay him, they gave him the whole town as payment. And since then, it's been passed down from kind of family to families. I've been up here, living up here full time for about three years now which has been amazing. And I came up here in March, 2020, I haven't left. And so these days I just like, you know, we work on a lot of the buildings, go exploring. The property itself is about 350 acres and it's surrounded by all BLM land. So there's no real neighbors anywhere. Um, I've only recently, well, I guess three years ago now, gotten into dirt bike riding and, and all that. And so I have, I have a collection, I have a 200 or 250 and a 650 now. So, you know, I'm, working my way there. I saw you guys came out on bigger bikes than that, so uh, I am uh, very jealous how you, good you guys were to get up here. The road's not easy. Want to trade? Uh, yeah, I got a 250. <laughs> Take it on down. You can have mine. I got to say, you guys are the uh, the first people to come up on bikes uh, this winter, so uh, <laughs> that is very impressive, and uh, congratulations. I feel like I should have like a, like a, a badge or a pin or a ribbon or something like that to hand out. Right now, it's... Uh, it's, it's not only snow, ice, there's also melting snow. So uh, congratulations, guys. Well, well welcome done. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank yeah. you. Impressive is a nice word. So originally this was like a mechanics garage and then slowly they added on the wings and then the old owner made it into, uh, or put in the stained glass in remembrance of his wife who passed away. And so we're making it into a little bit of a movie theater. Brent was an incredibly kind host and I wish we could have spent way more time here. Unfortunately, time was not on our side. With an hour to sunset, the snow melt creating a muddy mess of the road and the temperature dropping, we had to leave.
Brent was very kind and followed us down, just in case we had any more meetings with the ground. I never, ever, never, 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 ever, holy, oh my god, oh my god, thank you. Thank you guys for coming. I'm so sorry for that inconvenience. No, it's not inconvenient at all. I'm just very, I'm very new to this, and yeah. I should, I should have asked a lot more questions instead of just assuming. No, you guys are, you guys are heroes. You made it up and down. Safe travel. Oh, thank Safe you. Offer. Hopefully, we'll come back when the road yes. isn't much. Yeah, I'll yes, come in a car. Do. <laughs> <laughs> Doodles coming in a car. <laughs> that was a very difficult journey, but you guys did great. <laughs> oh my God, we you did it! Oh <laughs> <laughs> It ended up being eight miles of the scariest riding I have ever done. I can't believe you drug me up there. I can't believe you came. <laughs> I can't believe you, you didn't just like drop me, like be like, okay, bye, I'll stay down here. Good luck. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay. I'm so, so relieved your leg is not broken and you're, you're like walking around right after. That's what good boots are for. Yeah, I need, I need to switch these boots out. Yeah, I was more worried about your ankles than anything. Yeah. <laughs> or are you doing what Jocelyn did and like have a, secretly have a broken bone? Or I don't have a broken bone. 100%. Cross okay. my heart, hope to die. Don't okay. have a broken bone. Okay. Would not have gone further if I had had a broken bone. Okay. We did it! We did it. <laughs> well, I'm excited about my rock. Your rock. Yeah, it's so that's pretty. What, that's what you're thinking about right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, we had fun. Did we? Oh, we totally did. <laughs> it's okay if you don't feel it right now. It'll, it'll come in a couple of days for you, maybe. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, Lord.